identified sites for almost 9,000 new homes across the borough. Officials hope it will stop developers putting in speculative planning applications. Uh, this is looking towards the housing supply for the next five years. The uh, full and extensive local plan still needs to go to the full council for to, what, to be ratified. I've been speaking to Cheshire East Council's Conservative leader, Michael Jones. We have moved mountains. Our planning teams and our planning committees, member led, have done a fantastic job. And I'm very pleased today to say that we are announcing a robust position on a housing land supply, five years, which will be five years plus a 5% buffer with the Sedgefield methodology, which means that will always be undertaken in the first five years. But more than that, we have a robust argument on moratorium, and more than that, we are within centimetres, millimetres of our 20% buffer. Are you confident it will stop the, the developers coming in and saying we want to build here? Yes, as I can be. It's up to now inspector to see the logic of their own arguments. I mean, what we've done, we've looked at their arguments, we've looked at the logic of it, and we have taken on board, and we have said categorically and clearly that we've listened, gone out, and we've put forward thousands of permissions to get to this position. We've brought through the right sort of development, smaller developments, developments which are deliverable. We've done more 106 agreements, maybe a cost to the council, but we've made sure, we've done whatever we can to get things done to make sure our case is robust, strong, and defendable to an inspector. Now, the vagaries of any inspector is open to the world and they may do whatever they say. What I'm saying to you is that we have done our best and we think we're now proud to say we've gone beyond where we were, it's a pretty big achievement in less than three months, don't you think? But it's no guarantee that, that it will stop these developers coming in, of course. There are no guarantees in life, especially where planning is concerned. What it does guarantee is that we've done our job again, and that we're more robust than ever, and we're looking to go forward. Don't forget the local plan itself will be on the 28th of February. That means going to council for a final vote. If it passes that special council meeting, it'll be in with the government to then review. Having a fibre supply makes that process more robust. Why has it taken so long to finalise? You know, to get this through, you're talking about, if you think about this, okay, if you take a thousand house site, that would probably only deliver 125 houses to your five year supply. So to get it through in real numbers, you need to have many thousands to go above. The number we've got to is over 9,971. That's a lot of houses. Think about above that we've had to get to, to make that the derivative of, to affect five years supply in the time period. So where are these houses going to go then in the next five years? That's the good news. They're now going to be plan-led. We've brought for a lot of sites in the plan going forward, sustainable, with all the considerations for education, health, jobs, infrastructure. We're doing it a sustainable way, and that's why we're doing these, these houses that come through. And we will reevaluate ongoing any need and look at applications if they are sustainable we'll support them if they're not we won't lots of very concerned residents in places like Worcesterton and, and, and uh, around Witchwood Village and around All uh, uh, the developers wanting to build there are, are there assurances that those sites will be safe now what I say to you they are more safer now after my announcement to you today than they ever have been the leader of Cheshire East Council there Michael Jones speaking to me a little bit today Oh, new figures show the UK.